First, attach DC power to L2 plus and power on. Please tighten the power connector to ensure power supply. There are four HDMI inputs. You can connect the PC, camera, and other input source to HDMI in connector or HDMI output for preview monitoring. On the left side of L2 Plus, you have a standard 3.5mm microphone jack, allowing you to connect a sound console or microphone. What a surprise is the 5.5-inch touchscreen on the front panel of L2 Plus. The LCD screen presents for improved sources, PST preview picture, and PGN output picture, so that you can preview graphics and inputs before being made live. Here you can touch one of the four input picture on the screen to switch PST preview signal. Long press anywhere of the screen to switch PGM as a full screen. Long press again to return to multi-view. Click PST preview to switch AB layer. You also have physical button. Press menu key to enter main menu. As you can see, the menu will appear in the center of the screen. Just touch the menu icon to enter the next sub-menu settings. Or you can turn the knob to select the menu. There are also four input buttons, corresponds to its HDMI inputs. Press the menu button, open the main menu, and we have input, HDMI, USB 3.0, audio, IP setting, and setting menu. Touch input menu. It displays the resolution and frame rate of your four HDMI inputs. If there is no live feed, it will display no input. Next, we have HDMI menu. This menu allows you to customize your steps by choosing what to display on each of your HDMI outputs, PVW allows you to preview four input sources, PST preview and program view at once. PGN output the program view. Backlight allows you to adjust the backlight brightness of the LCD screen. Format allow you to upload live feed with different resolutions. USB 3.0 menu is for the setting of USB output, including format and mode. Audio menu. Here you can adjust the volume, change between the HDMI inputs embedded audio signal, and align or mic input, or choose audio follow video. External type here, you can choose the input audio level, you can choose a line level or micro level. Line level is good for a console input, and mic level is good for a microphone input. And you can also choose to display the audio bar on the LCD screen or not. IP setting. Here you can set IP address manually or automatically. Turn off DHCP and choose each segment with the knob. Then press to enter and set the value of each segment by pressing the knob again. If your network or router has a DHCP server, turn on DHCP and L3 Plus will automatically obtain the current network address. And the last one is setting menu. Here you can choose the language, fan speed, Reset, 
and see the device series number. Press SW button to enter the function menu. Here you have mix, mode, picture in picture, PTZ, logo, and comma key menu. We have 15 kinds of effects to choose. In actual use, the hard cut is only available in the quick cut mode. In the T-bar mode, it will automatically change to fade. There are two transition modes, fast for the press of the source button, or T-bar for the pushing the T-bar to switch. You have the option to set switch time from 0.5 seconds to 5 seconds. In T-bar mode, you can control the progress of the T-bar manually and customize the transition effect. Next, we have picture-in-picture -picture menu. There are 9 picture-in-picture -picture modes you can choose to position your picture-in-picture. -picture. Use the source button to select which input you would like for your picture-in-picture. -picture. Layer A is for the main picture. Layer B is for the sub-picture. At last, push the T-bar and switch the picture-picture -picture to program view. Logo menu. Here we need to import the logo image into the L Plus using the computer. Connect L Plus and computer in the same router via LAN cable. In order to realize the connection, we shall keep the first three segments of them the same. So we need to modify the l IP address. First, go to your computer and find the computer's IP address. Here is 192.168.11.186. Then go to IP setting menu of L2 Plus. Here we set the IP address as 192.168.11.124. Next, go to the computer, go to the logo layer and select a picture as the logo. Just click Logo Generate. You will see upgrading on the LCD screen of L2 Plus, and the logo picture will be imported. After that, go to the Logo menu. Here you can enable the logo overlay and adjust the position by touching these direction icons. You can also undo an action by touching the undo icon here. Karma key menu. First, enable the karma key. Choose the color you want to remove. There are six kinds of colors you can choose. Orange, yellow, green, cyan, blue, and purple. Here we choose color green. Then we go to the layer to set the AB layer. Tap the PST view on the LCD screen. Press the button 3. Here you set the background video to input 3. Then tap again. Press the button 1. Now you set your overlay video to input 1. You can also use the knob to set the AB layer. Mean and Max is for adjusting the range value of the color removal. Margin is for making the edge adjustment to get a cleaner keying. And just keep in mind, the picture-in-picture -picture effect and fast switch mode are unavailable when the comma key function is enabled. L3 Plus can control up to 8 cameras, which supports this car particle, named as Camera 1 to Camera 8. In order to realize the PTZ control function, 
L2 Plus and PTZ camera should be on the same lane. So here we need to modify the PTZ's IP address. Here we take the 3 volt PTZ camera as an example. First, connect your PTZ camera to your computer via the LAN cable. Check your PTZ's default IP address. Then modify your computer's first three segments to the same as your PTZ's. Open your browser and enter the IP address of your PTZ camera in the address bar. Press Enter. Next, the default username and password is ADMIM. Go to the IP address. Here I set the new IP address of my PTZ camera as 192.168.11.130. Click the Save Setting button to save the new settings. Reboot the device to take effect. After IP address setting, we need to connect PTZ and L2 Plus to the same router. Go to the PTZ menu. Here we choose Camera 1. Then set the IP as 192.168.11.130. Enable it. Now you can control PTZ camera's position, zoom in and zoom out, and focus by touching the corresponding icon, and undo action by touching the undo icon. Meanwhile, you can also save up to 20 presets each camera by touching the save view, including position and zoom information. Then call it out quickly by using the low view icon.